Hey, hey, everyone. So, it's been a long time since I've uploaded an actual video and it wasn't alive. <laughs> so, I figured I'd do so since I'm back to YouTube again, full time. The last time I recorded one, Aria, really? You're going to do that now? <laughs> There's a little bag on the floor and she's playing on the bag. Aria, come on. Get out of there. Come on. Come on. Come on out of there. She's under my desk in a bag. She's using her little paw and she's just grabbing the bag like that. So, like I said, it had been a while since I've uploaded. Um, I did the Christmas premiere. That was the last thing I recorded and uploaded. But I've gotten a couple of diamond paintings since then, just recently actually, and I figured I would unbox them. So you're going to get probably two videos out of this one recording. Um, I'm just going to record it all at once and split it in half in editing and just record the, the other diamond painting as a second <laughs> as a second video, I think. So uh, don't stick around at the end here thinking there's going to be another one because no, it's just going to be a separate video. So what we got here, first one is I picked it up at Hobby Lobby. I've gotten into cross stitch lately. Um, so I was at Hobby Lobby getting some cross stitch stuff I needed and... I said, you know what, let me go look at the diamond painting section and see what they've got. And my local Hobby Lobby was packed, like overflowing with diamond painting stuff. Had a lot of diamond art club stuff and nothing that really appealed to me, not too much. But they did have um, some diamond dots. And I saw this new one, it's the, uh, the Diamond Art by Leisure Arts, it says here. You can kind of see it there. Diamond Art by Leisure Arts. Premium slash prime. Specialty gems. So I tried to figure out what the specialty gems are. And the only thing I can think of about the specialty gems is that they're like 13 faceted. With 13 facet gems, it says. It says more dazzle with 13 facet gems. So that's what I can think of is that it's got these special 13 facet gems on them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I don't know. So either way, they're round. Obviously, diamond dots round. Um, and it is diamond dots. You can see there at the bottom. Powered by diamond dots. So, hi, Hank. Hank's making noise. So I picked it up. It was $39.99. It was on a 40% off sale. So, you know, you figure got it for about 20 20 some twenty dollars somewhere around there yeah so it's not a bad deal it's a beautiful diamond painting as you can see there it is a deer in the stars um i may bling this one out a little bit uh i've got to get with t-mall and pick up some drills and may bling up that background just a bit and really make it sparkle i don't know yet but uh let's see what's in the package oh instruction sheet Instruction sheet for the first timers. That's the French side. <laughs> There's the English side right there. Okay. We all know how to diamond paint. Don't need that. Throw that in the garbage bag over there. All right. We have one Diamond Dots canvas. one pack of drills with the toolkit inside and we have an empty box as you can plainly see there Beep. all right you put that on the floor okay first of all i guess we will do the canvas first Let's take a look at this canvas. Okay, I know y'all are pretty used to these by now. Uh, you know that Diamond Dots has good canvases. It's not that soft feel in the back. This is kind of, you know, you can feel the, the back of the canvas. But it's not AliExpress. Which, by the way, this is not an AliExpress painting. This is actually the Royal Diamond painting, the giant 
uh, 100 by 165 uh, castle that I am doing. Uh, I bought it back in 2020 and unboxed it then. Uh, there's a long story to go with that one. I will probably make another video about that because it has been quite the adventure with this one. So uh, <laughs> I'll make another video about that. Maybe do a whip and chat and talk about it and, uh, and let you all know how that goes. Um, so far, it seems to be working out good finally, and I'm really kind of having a great time with it. So let's, uh, let's get the canvas out here. And see what it's like now again it's like not like diamond art club it is poured glue and it is the design size is 16 inches by 20 inches which is 40.64 centimeters by 50.8 centimeters so uh you say 40 all right we'll just go with 40 by 50 maybe 40 by 51 is your design size uh you can see there it's really detailed you can see how clear the drill field is just that far away um, really don't need anybody to bring that up close but you can see the drill field is very clear no doubt in your mind where those drills go uh, there are 25 colors so it is a very very detailed really i'm really surprised how detailed it is but again it's diamond dots diamond dots does a good job with their charting they do a good job with their paintings their kits are usually really good drills aren't a problem you can i don't know that they have a guarantee on their drills like diamond art club does or any of the other companies but diamond dots is really cool if you run out of drills or you need drills um for it or whatever you can go right to Hobby Lobby and you can buy drills at Hobby Lobby and they're really cheap so you know that's your that's your way of getting extra drills if you need them from there uh, it's not even a bad idea to buy a little bit at a time of each color bring them home put them away somewhere they're already in their own little handy storage containers you just got to find a box to put them in really um, and you can have extra drills of diamond dots and there is a conversion chart out there that converts the um the uh, diamond dots numbers to a dmc so you know what dmc number they are and you can have a whole kit i mean uh, diamond dots doesn't use all 477 447 colors but you know there's still quite a few colors there available that diamond dots uses for all their paintings so you know it's a good idea maybe so the poured glue got the plastic cover um, so yeah that's not a let's not turn that plastic cover over wrong but we'll peel it back diamond dots typical sticky nice it's really nice glue no 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 issues with the glue uh, i gotta find my ruler here i had it somewhere not sure where i put it Then I've got my ruler here somewhere so that I can, there it is. Ah, there we go. So I put my ruler underneath here. Like so. And then I can use that to knock my mic down. And <laughs> y'all, I'm an amateur again. <laughs> I am definitely an amateur again. Let me fix my mic there. There we go. And that didn't do it either. Somebody help me. Help me. There. All right. It's kind of hanging over in front of me, and I've just kind of got it sitting on top of this, like makeshift arm boom arm thing um so that's why it's kind of easy to knock off oops i didn't mean to do it that way I'm trying to get it down there nice and smooth
Now this one here is not going to get rolled back up and put back in the box. I will put it in the closet on a hanger. I use these binder clips um, like this on wire hangers and I can hang my diamond paintings in the closet that way and they work really well. Just use two binder clips per canvas, one on each end of the canvas and you'll have a really good hanging system for your diamond paintings and I have an underbed storage tote it's really big uh, underbed storage tote that I can use to put all of my drills for all of my kits in and uh, that way they're easily accessible I can get to them when I need them and they're ready to go so that is the deer so now let's flip her over, or flip him over actually. There's a drill from my other kit there. Okay, and let's get into our drills, shall we? All right, so what we got here is typical diamond dots drills. There is no inventory sheet with diamond dots. It does come with a toolkit. Standard toolkit, it's got the clear sparkly pen. It's got the diamond dots wax in its own little container, a squishy, a bunch of small bags, which are kind of really helpful to keep around, especially if you're going to buy a lot of uh, T-Mall stuff and stuff like that. You've got little baggies, you can keep them all in. <laughs> but even though T-Mall comes in baggies, so that's not an issue anyway. But yeah, all right, toolkit, standard. Just normal everyday toolkit. What you'd expect from Diamond Dots. And then you've got your drills. These come in two separate little packs. And we'll start with A01, which is an 8081, which I'm not sure what color that is. It's kind of a brownish color. And no, that's not blue drills. They're actually, it's actually where the blue print is over top of the drills. So, no, it does not have blue drills mixed in with the brown. Um, 310s, obviously. Um, more 310s, 8001. Um, a few little light gray ones there is 8442. Again, that's Diamond Dot's proprietary number, so yeah, take that like it should be. 8155 is um, kind of almost like an 820 blue. Um, 8376 is another type of brownish. The, the camera makes it look orange, but it's more like a burnt sienna. Um, that's a lighter burnt sienna. Uh, more gray. And more gray, 8440 and 8441, which are two different shades of gray. Since we all know there are 50 of them. Ha! Uh, yeah, okay. All right, and that took us up through A08. So this one here is probably picks up at nine. Yes, it does. Um, another brown. It's more of a typical brown. That's like poo brown. And then we got like a dark burnt sienna. Um, kind of a pale blue, 8163. And then there's a lighter version of that same pale blue. And there's an even lighter version of pale blue. Another dark poop brown. Um, these look like they could be 939s. They're not 310s. And there's two packs of those. Uh, 8321 is a... Yeah, it's not bright yellow, it's kind of a pale yellow. Uh, 8405 is another darker poop brown. And then we will get on to the last one here. This is a, it's like a dark pale blue. I uh, got two packs of those. And then you've got a darker gray, almost a green olive in there, kind of. Um, peach, lighter brown, 
a darker peach, another type of burnt sienna type, light poop brown, and white drills. There are no ABs in this kit. There are no crystals. There are no sparkly ones other than the typical diamond dot drills. So again, I may, looking at this here, very well do some of these background stars and things in sparklers. I don't know what, yet which sparklers. I've got some that I used in the Christmas painting that I did, which turned out absolutely beautiful. Maybe do a post review on that one because uh, everybody that's seen it seems to like it. But I have some leftover drills from that one. And I got I got some, oh, there went the mic again. Sorry, y'all, I keep, like, knocking you down. Um, or at least knocking down your way of hearing me. Okay. So I do have some leftover drills from that. These are the Frost Crystal ABs, and they really do sparkle a lot. So those may be good for the stars. They're actually, the light is too bright on them. If they weren't so lit up, you would see. Let me move this light and see how that works. There we go. There you go. Now you can kind of get an idea of. They sparkle in beautiful colors. They're kind of ABs, they're like clear crystals. But they're kind of frosted over and then they have an AB coating on them. And those are from Team All, they're the Frost Crystal AB rounds. And then I also picked up some of the clear quad cubes. No AB on them, they're just clear quads and they are really pretty. They provide a lot of sparkle. That's what we're really looking for there. So. I may bling this one out. We'll, we'll see. So there you have it, all. That is the Leisure Arts, Art of Everyday Living, it says, by Diamond Dots, Premium Deer. And again, I still don't understand the difference between regular drills and premium drills. It just says they're 13 facet drills, which if you look at them very closely, maybe the camera will zoom. There you go. It's hard to see the facets on those. Let's see if I can get some on this one that you can see the facets on. There you go. Yeah. Come on. Focus, focus. There we go. Yep. Yeah. So there's 13 facets. And you know, I find it interesting. And I was talking about this in the Zoom I was hanging out in. That if you've ever looked at square drills or round drills, if you notice the pattern on the facets is in an X pattern. So we all know that diamond painting derived from cross stitch. And I think they did that on purpose with the X pattern in, in the drills, because when you look at it right, it does look like little cross stitches. It's kind of neat. I just realized that maybe everybody else has figured that out before me and I'm just behind on the times. And, and if that's the case, well, I'm sorry, but I'm just pointing out something interesting I just saw. So <laughs> There we have it. That is the Diamond Dots Premium from Hobby Lobby. Beautiful deer painting. And as a guy, I can never have enough deer paintings. So I will put these back in their little holding baggie there. And it says on the package deer, so I know where that when I put that in my in my drills tote, I will know which painting it goes with. Because I don't have any other deer paintings at the moment, because the only other one I have is a finish that I did at one point. I mean, I will not roll that back up because that is going to go in the closet. So there you have it, folks, the diamond dots. Actually, you know what? I'll put it back out here to end the video with. 
Hello, and I knocked the camera over. I'm telling y'all, I am so amateurish tonight. There you go. There is the Diamond Dots from Hobby Lobby Deer Premium Painting. So until next time, and like I said, be on the lookout. There's another video coming with another diamond painting that I'm about to film right now. So until next time, rock on y'all. Roll Tide.